This is stage two of a series on the Shaker Oval Box size number five. In my last post, stage one, I showed how I created the finger shapes by tracing over the imported image. And here are the two bending bands at their proper length and thickness. I showed how to make the oval ellipse shape starting with a circle and then stretching out with the scale tool. Next, the offset tool created the thickness of 0 0.085 inches and the arc tools, arc tool developed the overlap of the bent banding. Push pull to the full height and then preparing for an intersection to create the fingers of the banding. After scaling up, intersecting and cleaning up, the box bend is complete. This sets the stage for creating the bent cover banding. Here is the original shape used for creating the box bend. Note that the cover band must fit over the outside edge of this shape. When bending the cover band around the outside edge of the box band. Note that the banding will form a gradual curve around this discontinuity at the overlap area. Therefore, there will be a short gap here between the cover and the box. Otherwise, the cover will fit snugly around the rest of the perimeter of the box. So I need to create a short transition arc to show how the actual cover will bend through this transition area. That should be about right there. And I can delete all the interior ellipse shapes, leaving one perimeter for the cover banding shape. The actual inside edge of the cover banding will therefore be this lopsided ellipse with a slight bump in one area of the circumference. With the offset tool, I'll add the thickness of the cover banding that is again 0 0.085 inches. There is an overlap area of the banding that is about 5 inches in length. So there is a thinning of the end of the banding that I'll create with an arc here. Over to the 5 inch length area and bring that arc out showing the thinning from 0 0.085 inches thick to almost nothing. And I can delete part of the arc. The finger overlap area will be here and, and uh, I but I first need a flat face to ensure that I have an arc in the right plane. The finger overlap area is here and I can with the arc tool bring that shape over here and get that tangent color and with the eraser tool knock out some of the waste. The shape is ready for push-pull to a height of 15 sixteenths, 15 sixteenths inch. So here's push-pull. Then I can select all and do a smoothing to remove the extra, extra lines. The next step is to set up for the intersection to get the finger shape. 
let me delete that line first. Okay, so here is the setup for the intersection. We've got the finger shape out in front positioned precisely and with the push-pull tool bring it through the shaped banding and after intersection and cleanup we've got a clean cover and I want to make sure that that cover fits properly. Here is the results of my last post in creating the box. I'll create a guideline at the center of the box and then copy the cover over to the box center line, grabbing the cover at its center. Then with the move tool I can lower the cover over the box. Dot here. Now to check the fit. I want to check this area of the fingers and they are overlapping properly and there is the gap you can see it here. The gap that will is caused to come around that protrusion. Now the rest of this perimeter should be closed up very tight so that that cover fits precisely over the box. When you bend, steam bend, you bring it, you actually bend it around the, the box shape so that you know that you'll get that fit in the shop. In the next blog entry I'll complete the box with, with a base and a cover plate with pegged connections. I also need to make the form around which the box bending is bent.